I was diagnosed with fibromyalgia. Uh, <laughs> City. I'm a high school student, but I've been doing a summer internship here at Rockefeller. My name is Lydia, and this summer I have been working in a lab at Rockefeller University doing multi-omics for fibrolamellar hepatocellular carcinoma. Well, when I was 12, I was diagnosed with fibrolamellar, and they didn't really know much about it. They still don't. I was diagnosed just after I turned 15 when I was a freshman in high school. I mean, I've always been interested in science, and even before I came here, I worked in another lab in New York City, but this project was more close to the heart. I first contacted the lab in regards to how I could help as a patient um, with my own tissue samples. I mean, my first reaction was just, someone's doing research on fibrolamellar. That was really great. DNA, RNA, BCF, and bed files, and variant nucleotides, some mutations, heterogeneity, mutations within a given pathway. If you were going to talk about the work that you're doing to people that are new to this, mm -hmm. how would you describe it? We sequence the genomes. Can you use that? <laughs> We're trying to find mutations in the DNA or expressions in the RNA that are <laughs> So we're trying to find mutations in the DNA or expressions in the RNA that are driving fibrolamellar, that are causing um, regular cells to become tumorous cells and to replicate and create more tumor cells. Patient participation is particularly important with fibrolamellar because it's so rare you don't have the large uh, studies that have been done. So most surgeons so. aren't going to tell their patients, oh, there's this great fibrolamellar research project going on at Rockefeller. Most surgeons you should wouldn't your... know. Yeah. For the research, we really need fresh frozen tissue. Right now we are working with tissue samples from 10 different patients. Because we don't have that many tissue samples, we can't say anything for sure. We can't, like, yeah, we, can we, can't draw any, we can't draw any conclusions about any of these mutations being significant. Each tissue sample we get leads to hundreds of thousands of identified variations. That's a lot of information that we can work with. If I could say anything to people out there with fibrolamellar, I'd just say people are working on it and there are people who are trying to find a cure and trying to help understand what this cancer is. Um, and we just really need tissue samples. So you do have the rights to your own tissue and so you can ask your doctors to send it to researchers so that people can try to develop a cure for this cancer. Advocate for yourself. Um you know, tell the hospitals, ask the hospitals, okay, what are you going to be doing with my tissue afterwards? I hope to be part of finding a cure for fibrolamellar. I mean, big picture, we'd like to find a cure to fibrolamellar. Um, but of course, that's kind of in the future. But one day. Your DNA, your DNA might hold the key. <laughs>